Convidamos o senhor Ionizive da Ecore Solar para a sua apresentação. Hello, my name is Ionizive. I'm the vice president of business development at Ecore Energia Solar. Today we're going to talk about my story, how I joined Ecore, what Ecore is doing and how we are bringing the newest technology into Brazil. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. I have uh, 20 years of experience in the solar industry started in a company doing uh, radio equipment for the military. I developed a lithium ion battery charger. Later, I worked at uh, SolarEdge, uh, which is one of the market leaders in inverters technology. I was there the vice president of technical sales and did uh, various R&D marketing and sales roles. In my time in uh, SolarEdge, I used to open new market and uh, less market I opened for SolarEdge was Brazil together with my colleagues and there I built relationship with our first uh, partner which was Ecore. This partnership turned into strong uh, friendship which led the way to me joining this uh, great company. So Ecore is the market leader in uh, Brazil for MLPE and uh, Disregard MLPE is uh, one of the top leaders in uh, PV distribution. We have more than 160 employees, around 30 units all around Brazil, logistics centers. We have our own fleet of uh, transportation, so we're not dependent on uh, external logistics. And as I said, we are the leaders of MLPE. This was also recognized by the Greener Research. Uh, we by far the leader in uh, MLP equipment and in the top three of distribution of uh, PV equipment in general. So thank whoever was participating in the green research and uh, voted for us. Uh, thank you very much. We are in the Forum Jede Sul in Canela and Ecori also have an um, entity here. Uh, we have a structure, we have logistic, we have a um, logistic center. We have a big logistics center in Tajai and our units in Joinville, Coritiba and Maringa, together with the commercial Seoul unit. Uh, we have our local presence very strong here and all around Brazil. So let's start with the actual uh, presentation. Uh, when people thinking about solar system, they have in mind PV panels on the roof. They don't know about inverters, about MLPE, about technologies, about MPPT. They only have in the minds the plates, the placards on the, on the roof. And they have one question. The only question they care about is mainly, how much does this cost? They don't ask other questions. And this is the biggest problem of the market. This is our place to educate the market and teach them. Not that we want them to pay more money. We want them to understand about values. Just like when someone is buying a car, of course, he doesn't want to pay a lot, but he understands, it's obvious that there are differentiations between the cars. There is one car expensive and one car cheap, but they have also different value. One car is fast, one car is slow. One car is safety and one car is less safe. One car is old and one car is new. And there are many factors to take in account. Very similar way when you are buying a cellular. You have a smartphone, an iPhone, a Samsung, or you have the old phones, like the non-smartphones. And yes, you can buy a very cheap phone, but nobody would buy this because it doesn't serve our values and what we need. This doesn't um, answer our requirements. Same thing is with the solar system. Solar system is even more important because unlike a cell phone when you replace every three, four years or a car where you replace every five or 10 years, solar system is for 20, 25 years. Why people don't care about the functionalities and values that this solar system brings? We need to understand that the basic building block of the solar system, just like the person I told you thinking about solar system is the panel. But the panels are unique and not all panels are exactly the same. And every panel has like its unique fingerprint. And this fingerprint dictates 
the maximum power point, the power, it means the energy that this panel can generate because power over time is energy. And the more energy I make, is more money I'm making from the system or more money I'm saving from my electricity bill. So I want to maximize the energy, I want to maximize the power, and I want to maximize the power from all of my panels, not just from a single panel. This is a very complicated task and not all systems know how to do it. When I connect different panels in the string, all the panels are not identical. Even if I take the same panels from the same manufacturer, from the same uh, uh, part number, the panels are a little different. First, from the manufacturing tolerance, they're a little different. They have slight different shading. They have a little dust, little dirt. Some had like bird uh, drop on it. Some have some a little crack from the transportation and some just from the manufacturing tolerance, but they are not exactly identical. And if they're not exactly identical, the single current that is flowing through the string of the panels will not generate the maximum power from each and every panel because each and every panel have a little different MPP point. And in order to have the best MPP for all the panels, all the panels need to work in their maximum power point. And this cannot be done when I have a string and they need to compromise on the working point. This is physically not possible in the traditional uh, connection in the traditional string inverter systems. String inverter is like a traffic jam. When I have a slow car in front of me, it blocks me. It's the same like having a weak panel in the string is dictating weaker current and weaker power in all the other panels in the string. And what we want, we want is freedom. We want every panel to get the maximum power it can do, it can generate without being dependent on the other panels in the string. We want something more like this. I have my lane, nobody in front of me, nobody behind me, I'm not affecting anyone. If I need to drive slow, generate lower power because I'm shaded or because I'm dirty, I will generate less, but I will not affect the rest of the panels. And if one panel is maybe bigger or other technology or can generate more power, he will because nobody's blocking it. And this is the beautiful thing about MLPE. MLPE is the module level power electronic. It's either micro inverter or optimizer that is connected at the panel level instead of at the string level. And in this way, I have my own lane for each and every panel to generate the maximum energy and make maximum money, maximum return on investment from my solar system. We are the expert for MLP and we want you to understand that not all the MLP are identical. First, you have a differentiation between microinverters and optimizers from different brands and in them, we also have different kinds, different uh, technologies, different level of quality, reliability, and you need to choose the right product from the right brand. In general, all the MLP give you four benefits. The four benefits of MLP, the first is the obvious, is more energy. You understand because I have the unique maximum working point for each and every panel like a small inverter or optimizer on every panel, I get the maximum energy from all the panels. The second, I have full flexibility. Whoever of you that is designing string inverter system, remember that you have maximum string length and minimum string length and MPPT window and, and uh, all the strings need to be in exactly the same length and the same MPPT, facing the same orientation, et cetera, et cetera a lot of design constraints. With MLP, you just connect the panel and it's working. You don't really care if the string is long or short, especially with microinverters where you have the full freedom of flexibility. And unlike a string inverter, when you are dependent on a lot of design constraints from the panel and from the inverter manufacturer. Third is the monitoring. I have monitoring to every inverter. 
maybe even every a string input of inverter. But then I have monitoring only at the string level. When my inverter is connected per panel, I have panel level monitoring. And remember that the panel is the most important part of the system. It's what builds the system. It's what generates the photon light into electrons. We want to know that all the panels are performing, performing good, have no problems. And if they have problem, we can claim warranty based on our monitoring. That gives us also peace of mind for our investment. So we want this module level monitoring. And the fourth uh, advantage of MLP is the safety. MLP knows how to make a disconnection at the DC point. All inverters can disconnect the AC. If I shut down the AC to the building, I shut down the inverter. But in string inverters, when I shut down the inverter, the voltage of the DC, instead of going down, going to the highest voltage possible to the V-open circuit of the panels connected. And in a string, it can be anything from 400 volt to 1000 and today 1500 volt. Very dangerous, much more danger than the voltage it was when it was operating. With MLP, if I'm disconnecting the inverter, my voltage go down to the single panel voltage or it would optimizer to one volt per optimizer. In both cases, this is safe voltage. I can touch with my hand and not be afraid. So if I'm shutting down the AC with MLP, my DC is automatically safe as well. The last advantage, which is only for microinverter, is the design, is the beautiful system. I just talked to an architect last week and she told me that the problem is that, as we remember, people thinking of the panels on the roof, but nobody is thinking of, oh, now I need a wall to mount my inverter. Where would they put my inverter? In the salon, yeah, outside the house. I don't want to find a place for this inverter. With microinverter, all the system is under roof, behind the panel, have perfect shading, nothing affecting it. I only have the AC cable going directly to my AC panel. Everything is perfect. Everything is beautiful. I don't need to mount an inverter. And this is a great fifth advantage of microinverters in addition to the four advantages of MLPE, the monitoring, the safety, the flexibility, and the added energy. Talking about some products that coming new to the market this year, from SolarEdge, the world inventor of uh, uh, DC optimized inverters, I was part of the system. I was part of building the first product of this uh, amazing company. Uh, they're releasing two new products for the market this year. The first uh, already here is the P1100. This is the strongest uh, optimizer for commercial uh, systems. It can be connected to 550 volt, sorry, 550 watt panels and uh, best uh, performance, very good cost. Another very good optimizer that is coming to the market is the M1600. We can already take orders for it and it can be connected up to 1800 watt uh, for panels. This product is only for ground mount for the megawatt scale. It can be connected to four panels uh, into two MPPTs with every optimizers. They can be connected to all of the solar edge commercial inverters as I said, the P1100 would be for any commercial and uh, utility scale. The M1600 is only for utility scale. And this is the news from SolarEdge. From AP Systems, we have two amazing migrant data. Uh, very unique, the best in class. Uh, you don't see anything like that in the world. One is the QT2. QT2 is a three-phase microinverter can be connected up to four panels and it have very strong power in three phase. You don't see many microinverters for three phase. We have these microinverters in three phase. And beside the fact that it's three phase, it also have the ability for a reactive power control. So we see this demand, not yet in Brazil, we see it in the uh, United States and some places in Europe coming these requirements from the grid utility. Uh, these Microinverters already have them. Uh, the second is the most amazing microinverter today that exists. 
is uh, smaller. It's for two panels. It's a uh, 900 watt uh, rated, but it can be connected to much higher DC over 1200 or 1300 uh, watt peak. So you can connect the 600 watt panels, two panels to this micro inverter. And um, you have the MPPT, you have the communication by Zigbee. And again, this product also have already built in the reactive power control mechanism. So these two are the, let's say, the hottest uh, microinverters in the market coming by Cori this year. If you want to order, we have our teams all around Brazil and also here in the uh, south. What's coming next in the future? We don't know, but we know it's going to be based on connectivity. Connectivity between storage, between battery, between an EV car, solar system for sure, inverters, microinverters, smart grid, whatever is coming, whatever regulation will require, whatever market will require, require a quarry will be there, a quarry will take part of it. We are already in process of having our partners with storage solutions coming later this year, and uh, we will be there when it's needed with the best price and the best value. Ecori always believe in the safety, in the advanced technology, in the evolution, because evolution is part of us. We grow together with the market, we grow together with you. And we want you to understand that the core is a partner that's not just selling product, also giving service, also giving training, and there for you when you need us. So hope this was interesting. Hope that you like the new products that are coming. Thank you very much for joining my presentation and I will be happy to be connected with you after the forum through all the medias. Thank you very much, Ioni. Agradecemos o senhor Ioni Zivi da Ecoai Solar por sua apresentação.